हे मेकर्स दिस इज थ्रुवीन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पावर एफ्स कंपोनेंट स्टेप बाय स्टेप ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज यू आर वॉचिंग थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट कस्टम फंक्शन विथ पावर एफ्स कंपोनेंट दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूजफुल यूज केस दैट यू कैन लेवरेज फॉर योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट If you haven't visited my earlier videos of Power Apps component, the links are available in the description box. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. The IDs are available here or maybe in the description box. Also, at the end of this video, we will play one quiz and one lucky winner get a shout out from my channel as well as certificate of appreciation. So, play the quiz and answer in the comment section. So without further delay let's get started and talk about custom function with power apps component Here I am on my machine and here I have opened one of the canvas app First of all let me talk about what do we mean by custom function using component so first of all let me try to explain you the term custom function sometimes you have a scenario wherein you want to calculate some kind of tax on your data so let's say for an example here i am entering the value like 9000 and i want to calculate 5% of amount that we have entered over here and that is to be considered as a tax so for that what we are doing in a traditional approach basically for that we are writing one power fx expression on our button and that will calculate the 5% of the amount that we have entered over here and basically it will print that in any of your label now consider this example as a generalized example that you need to have same function to be utilized into all the apps that you are creating into your tenant or let's say you have 10 different pages in your screen and 10 times you want to use same power effects function so as a developer what you are doing at this moment you are copying and pasting your power effects formula and using that expression everywhere now this is something which is duplication of code now consider a scenario that after a year what happen here is the change there is a change in the calculation of tax like instead of 5% companies are charging 15% of tax so at the time what you need to do is you need to go in every page in every app and need to change your power fx formula which is very tedious and very time consuming now sometimes you miss the formula somewhere or any of the screen as well now what happen here is in order to overcome that thing we can create our formula in component library itself and consume that formula into our canvas app now in order to achieve that basically we need to only maintain one generalized component library with all the common functions for our tenant now let me talk about couple of more example let's say for an example you have a requirement where you want to validate the email or you want to validate the us phone number or uk phone number so at that time you can write all the power fx formula to validate this common thing into your one of your common component library which is stored centrally in your tenant level and now you can use you can share that component library to all your developers and developer can directly access those formulas now i know still you are too much confused so let me show you the step by step procedure for creating the custom function using the component property this is similar like entire architecture that you are using with the code based solution so in code based solution what you are doing is you are writing all your business logic to your business logic layer and you are simply calling the method using your business logic now the same implementation we can achieve over here so let's get started by creating the custom function so over here in this example we are going to calculate the tax so for that we are going to create one power fx formula so for that let's just go to the component library if you don't know how to create a component library and what are the input output and behavior property i have created two separate videos earlier the links are available in the description box just check it out so we are going to use 
the same component library over here so for that let's create a new component over here so i'm just creating my component as calculate text so let's just provide the name as cmp calculate text so i created this component now this component is something we simply need to place in our page i don't want to do anything else on my screen so let's just decrease height and width over here so that will occupy less space when you are adding that component on your screen so that's all we simply change the size of my component now it's time to define the custom properties over here so over here basically we need the output because input is something which we are passing into our text box and basically it will call our powerfx function and that will return me the output for that i will create a new custom property so let's say my custom property name would be calculate text calculate text right and now this is something which is simply a output property and the data type will be number because i want to return whatever the amount that is being calculated right so we are doing that now i need the input from my text box for that i need to define a parameter so simply click on new parameter and now let's just provide the parameter value as base amount so provide the parameter name as base amount and the data type will be obviously the number and let's click on create and now let's click on create right so over here your output property with the parameter is being created now remember one thing whenever you are op creating this component thing for the first time and if you are not able to see the add parameter option over here then you need to activate one feature from your settings so just go to the upcoming features and just search for component and go to the experimental section and make sure that enhance component property is enabled if it is turned off you will not able to see an option to add new parameter so remember that thing now it's time to define our formula so this is the common power fx function which we are defining inside our component library itself so now let's click on the output property that we just created that is calculate text so what would be the calculate text calculate text will be whatever the amount that we are passing so amount is something which we have defined as a parameter so over here we simply need to type base amount that we just defined base amount multiply by 5% of that so 5 divided by 100 simple so this is how the formula is being created right now what i want to do is i want to use that with my input control so for that we simply our custom function is being created successfully now we simply need to click on file save and publish our component so let's publish our component and now we will use that into our canvas app so this is the common component library is created you can uh, create any other function as well according to your business requirement now let me go to the canvas app that we have created so over here this is the canvas app which we created in the earlier session and now let me just add a new screen and now let's add our component so go to the insert click on get more components and this is the component library that we have published so let's just refresh that yt components and this is the formula that we created cmp calculate text and that component is available here cmp calculate text let's add that on our page so it will add that as a invisible component right so we simply need to use its id that's all nothing more than that now let's add the input parameter so for that let's go to the insert menu and let's take one text input and that will look like this so let's just remove the default value and format will be only accept the number that's all and then we want to calculate the text so for that we will just use the button and just rename it as a calculate text right and now we need to print the value into label so let's add one label and let's just remove this default text 
right now what we want to do with the traditional approach basically we are writing the same formula that we have defined on the component so text input one uh, into whatever the amount five divided by hundred that is something we are using as a traditional one right but now over here we simply need to call our component and that will give us the result so you simply need to click on this button then you need to provide the id of your component that you have added that is cmp calculate tax one dot calculate tax this is the function that you have defined there and this is considered as an output property now over here if you start the bracket you need to provide the base amount and base amount is nothing but this text inputs value so let's just copy the id of your text input and let's provide that text input dot text right and over here we need to create provide the numeric value so over here let's convert the text box value to numeric value using the value function right so this is how we can simply call our method now we need to store this result into any of your variable or let's say i'm just using update context variable update context then we need to provide the variable name amount and this is the value for the same let's complete the bracket and this is looking like this right now let's just format our code and now this amount is something which we want to print on the label so let's select the label and provide the variable name that is amount right so we are done and now let's play the app and taste the thing so let's say I'm just adding 9000 over here and let's click on calculate tax. So basically 5% of 9000 is 450 and that is something which is showing me over here. Now let's say if I change up to 90,000 or let's say 9 lakh. So according to that it will calculate the tax like this. So all the common functions you can define into your component library. And instead of writing the PowerFX formula every time, you can simply call your property over here. Now, let me talk about some another use cases over here. So, uh, if you go to uh, PNP GitHub and uh, search for Power Platform samples, there are lots of PowerFX uh, formulas are available. Like let's say if you wanted to validate the US phone number or US social security number or if you wanted to perform any input validation like URL or uh, anything like that, you can create this kind of common PowerFX formula for your organization. And shout out for all these MVPs uh, who has contributed on this particular Power Platform samples. So you can try it by your own. So let's say, let me just open up one of them that is uh, US phone number checking. So once you uh, open that, it will provide you the description and you can simply download the MSF file and simply use that into your application. Everything, uh, every information is provided over here into GitHub repository and I will share the link as well in the comment section. So uh, download this sample and utilize this facility in your application. And I personally love this feature a lot because it saves lots of my time. And let's say whenever new project is coming up, just utilize your component library. That's all that will do all your work. And let's say as a uh, as a developer, they don't need to, you know, uh, find the formulas every time from the Google or let's say if they wanted to do any little bit of thing, they don't need to research a lot. You have the library available for your organization and simply plug and play the formulas inside the app. So this opens up the next level of formula creation for uh, us. So with this, I completed the function creation process with the component. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Now it's time to play a quiz. So if you wanted to give the answer of the question, you simply need to type Q1, A, B, C or D and I post that in the comment section. And one lucky winner will get a shout out from my Instagram and YouTube page as well as they will receive a certificate of appreciation from my end. So keep answering in the comment section. So the first question is, I want to create email validation using component. 
which option will i use option a using input property with parameter option b using output property with parameter option c using behavior property with parameter and option d none of above the question is very easy and hope you answer that in the comment section so with this we are good for the component part if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any training or consultancy here is the website link you can follow me on my all my social media handles using this link and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram also you can follow me on my podcast platform using this link and i also created a separate dedicated channel which is only available for short content on power platform as well as hindi content on power platform so do subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye